Hey there, Sharon Warnell from here. Welcome to day 1,503 of What You Have to Know, documenting the journey. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar to the corporate and corporate world of business to the online business. In 2018, I started sharing this. Uh, I think it was 2018. It might have been 2019. I'd have to do the math. I think it was 2018. Anyway, it's been a long time. Lots of days in a row talking about some days rambling, some days not sharing hardly anything, other days sharing frustrations or things that I've been working on that just aren't working out and I'm struggling with or things that are going really, really well. Now, today is actually my birthday and I'm feeling every bit of my 62 years today. I did a bunch of uh, projects around the house yesterday. I, I rearranged and sorted and did a bunch of physical stuff, which I will admit I haven't been doing much of lately or enough of lately or enough of the movements that I've been doing. And so today I'm like, oh, it hurts to walk. So I will be moving more today to make sure that I keep moving and, and don't feel so stiff and sore when I do a little bit of extra work around the house. Uh, so today, our topic for our annual challenge, the BU 365 Day Challenge to Do One Thing Every Day That Improves Us, was talking about word or words, definition of things, vocabulary, what we have for vocabulary, how we define things, how we describe things has a huge impact on us. I'll give you an example. We get to define what everything means. I don't know if we, I don't know when I discovered that, oh my gosh, I could, I could change how I view this and I get to define happiness. I get to define success. I get to define failure, joy, um, hard work, hustle, grind, struggle, uh, frustration, love, hate. I, I don't hate anybody. It's really hard for me to work up to the emotion of hate. It has to be somebody that really did something harmful to me or my children before I could even muster up strong dislike, dislike intensely, and then hate. Uh, but I don't remember how old I was when I, I realized, oh my gosh, I get to decide what this means for me. It was way older than I think it should have been. I think that there's life lessons and things that we should be taught as children, but we aren't. And I'm, I'm hoping to remedy that mistake with my granddaughters. I didn't necessarily do it with my children because I didn't know better then. I didn't know back then that I got to decide and create my own life. If you live in a free country, and some of us are still living in a free country, even though the powers that be are trying to take away our personal freedom, we still live in a free country. We still have the ability to define and decide what things mean for us. We still have the, you know, for as long as possible, and I don't think it'll go away anytime soon, uh, entrepreneur entrepreneurial capability. Guess what? You can define entrepreneur for yourself as well once you learn how to spell it. That's one of those words. It took me a while to learn how to spell. So words and the the five words that control our life, whether we believe it or not, are your thoughts control your life. Your thoughts control your life and your words are what you use inside your head as well as outside and when you're communicating with other people to describe your thoughts, to, to claim your thoughts, to, you know, examine and look at and, and analyze your own thoughts, whether you do that or not. Some people go through their entire life without thinking about what they think. They just go through their whole life. Uh, others become a little bit more enlightened somewhere along the way. And it's different for each of us. I've got a long way to go, but we realize, Oh, I do have control over some of the things that I don't think I have any control over because the one thing we all always have control over, whether we believe it or not, again, is our thoughts, our ability to decide how and what we think about things, what we do believe and what we don't believe. And that's another one. It took me, I don't know, probably until my 40s before I realized that my beliefs were something that I could control, something that I could choose, something that I could decide, oh, well, I believe, and I've always believed this to be true, but is it even mine? Do I really believe it? And a lot of things that I looked at more deeply, I realized they weren't even my beliefs or experiences that I had formed beliefs around. Beliefs about money are a huge one for people. Beliefs about what we're capable of. So often, we are not deciding and defining what we're capable of. We're letting people outside of us or institutions or others things outside of us decide what we're capable of. And that's absolutely ridiculous because no one on the planet knows what we're capable of. Even us, sometimes we don't know until we, we test ourselves and our boundaries and we go after what we want. So 
word and words and our our action item today is just to share one word that you have a definition of and whether you change that or not is up to you but share a word that that maybe you find is is giving you a hard time or that um, you actually decided to change the definition of I have changed my definition of a whole lot of words um, lonely struggle hustle work hard work um, try let me, let me look at my list I shared a whole bunch from today in the challenge success failure depression lonely frustration patience uh, greed trust honor jealousy God prayer yes no commit uh, hope a lot of words that people don't even take for granted well what's the definition of hope hope is always good right is it is it it depends on your definition of it to me Hope and try mean I'm not really fully committed to it and I may see it happen or I may not, but it's outside of my control. If I, I'll give it a little try and if it doesn't work, well then it's no, no skin off my nose, right? It's not a big deal. So I have pretty much taken try out of my vocabulary when it comes to things that I am personally going to do. Now I tell people all the time, we'll give it a try. Try this tool for a day or so see how it works for you and if it doesn't work do something else try something else take action in a different direction our idiom for supersize your business today was mind your p's and q's and p's and q's comes from pints and quarts in the old english pub uh scenario where where the bartenders would keep track of their patrons and their customers and how much they drank by pints and quarts now i define p's mind your p's and q's and make sure that you're you're doing what's right and following good manners and making the world a better place always uh, by defining it as minding my people and my quality and to me quality is how we do everything in our organization and how it interacts with one another that's my definition of quality and are we surprising and delighting the people that we're here to serve and guess what as a business owner we are here to serve all of the people and all of the stakeholders that interact with our business and people are our most important resource so I want to pay attention to the things that involve the people that are involved in my business so P's and Q's to me is people and quality different again there's an example of I can define P's and Q's in my way I don't have to say pints and quarts uh, like the old days or mind your P's and Q's when you're learning when you're a child learning to write although you know I have dealt with a lot of dyslexic kids and so it's important to teach them and and pull out and show the distinction and different ways of looking at things to help them to be able to different all kids right when they're learning to write to differentiate between the the different letters of the alphabet so that's a little bit of what I'm thinking about today today I said it's my birthday and so I'm gonna go have a, an awesome lunch with my youngest sister uh, my other sisters are ones in Florida right now ones in Texas my mom's in Texas so when my mom comes back up north in June or so, May or June, we will we'll have a big birthday lunch and we'll celebrate my birthday. Her 85th birthday is in a couple of weeks. My daughter's birthday, we'll get together and we'll celebrate everybody's birthdays when she gets back. Uh, but today I'm going to go to lunch with my youngest sister because I like to do a little something on my birthday. I'm not a big uh, birthday celebrator. I actually celebrate my death day, which is September 7th, more than my birthday, March 12th, because that's the day that... Um, I really got a second chance at my life, a, a chance to understand more about how life really works, not how I thought it worked, uh, and what's important, what's really important to me, not what I, other people thought was important for me. Uh, huge, huge distinction. So that's it. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have an absolutely amazing day, an awesome day. One of my favorite things is to, to wish people an awesome day. So have an awesome day and I'll be with you tomorrow.